If I was to tell you that I was unconditionally loved as a child, then would you believe me? If I was to tell you that I grew up in a safe environment, then would you believe me? If I was to tell you that I have never experienced any trauma, then would you believe me? And from listening to my voice, are you able to tell that I am still traumatised? Or does it seem like nothing is wrong with me? Every single day, we are getting on with our lives. We wake up, we get on with our daily routine, and then we go to sleep at night only to do the same thing again the very next day. But that's not the case for everyone, because one way or another, we all come across someone who has experienced something, something so life-changing, where their life will never be the same again. And before you think that I am speaking about something positive, then think again. What I am really speaking about is sexual abuse. So often, we watch the news or come across it on social media, where it's usually males that commit these evil acts. And that misleads people into thinking that males cannot be victims or survivors of these crimes. There are so many male survivors of sexual abuse. And at what age it happened, and what specifically happened, it doesn't matter. The fact that it is happening is what matters. The voice of male survivors isn't being heard. The pain of male survivors isn't being addressed. And the right support for male survivors isn't being delivered. But what is happening is male survivors are being made to feel like they don't matter. Just how females are being supported in every way with their healing journey after they have experienced sexual abuse, males also need to be supported. Both males and females experience sexual abuse in different ways. Every single survivor is affected in different ways. So for this reason, there can't be a one solution for all type of support system. There needs to be a tailored form of support for male survivors. That's completely separate from how females are being supported. This will only happen once male survivors are taken as seriously as females are. Just because there is a higher percentage of males committing such evil acts, it doesn't mean that males cannot be victims or survivors. Anyone, regardless of their characteristics, such as gender or race, anyone can be a perpetrator, no matter how they know the person who they have abused. And anyone can be a victim or survivor. This is why I have dedicated the rest of my life to speaking out, because no one, and I mean no one, should ever be experiencing any form of abuse. My name is Shikesh Sarathia and I am an Indian male survivor of child sexual abuse.